and welcome to the Red Bull Ring. Just a few minutes to go and the Austrian Grand Prix will finally get going. The skies over the track are clear of clouds and the latest weather reports forecast temperatures in line with what we'd expect at this time of year. Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. You are here with The Architect and we are playing MotoGP 21 on the Xbox. Round 7, the Spielberg Red Bull Ring in Austria. That's where we are guys, that's where we are. We've upped our difficulty. What am I doing? We've upped our difficulty to 105% now, so that's another 5% from last time round. And we're not doing too bad. We qualified first, as we have done every other round. So we've done okay, but the gap is closing. So now we're three tenths up from uh, warm up practice. So the gap is closing, let's say. So it is getting harder and harder. But we're still in good stead. So we're going to put mediums on. That's what we're going for this time round. I think we can just head off and get down to track. So let's go. Almost everybody is on medium fronts at least. And there's a mixed bag on the hard tyre. Um, I was going to go for a hard but... I've gone for the medium. We don't want to make any mistakes like we did last time round. Riders have just completed their sighting lap and are lined up on the Red Bull Ring straight. Very little time left now until the start of another Austrian Grand Prix. OK, clutch in, first gear. Let's get our tyre temperatures up and let's go. Let's see if we can get a good start. Ooh, oh, we're getting a cracking start, aren't we? It almost feels a bit too good. Again, I don't want to be out on my own. A little wheeler there over the over the crest of the hill, and we've pulled a big gap already. But hopefully, if we're able to take our time a little bit more, so we're not on on the limit, we might be able to save the tyres. But I think there's been a couple of crashes though at the back. There's a huge gap between the pack behind us and then the next pack nice and steady into that turn keep off the green stuff it's a bumpy track it's a really bumpy track I think we managed to get a good setup we're doing okay we're doing okay So 105% and I did notice that in qualifying and the warm up sessions, free practice, all of those, the gap had closed significantly. But in the race, again in the race look, we're finding, I know I'm all over the track here, I'm trying to look behind me, see who's behind me. But we're three seconds in front after the first lap, it's a bit daft isn't it? So we might end up playing this on 120% the way we're going. have a wheelie so it's looking like we're gonna win this at this rate guys again I do like this track though it's a wonderful track so we've got eight laps to go we've not got a challenger in sight bit of back brake there, just got the rear end stepping out. Whoa, on the green stuff. So did anybody watch the racing today at the Czech Republic, Aston Circuit? Cotteraro did really well, he, uh, I mean there was expecting Vignales wasn't there to really take it, he'd been fast all weekend. I'm not sure what's going on with Vignales at the moment. He uh, seems to be having a few issues. And I think the personal issue is he, he can't really be clear on what the problem is. So I think the personal issues that he's got with the team maybe. Whoa, 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 look at that.
Whoa. That weren't very good. Okay, for the first time, we I think we just managed to keep the front wheel down. We just managed to get away there before the pack managed to catch us up. I think that's why I need to be in front. Because it's more or less inevitable I'm going to crash at some point. But yeah, Maverick Vinales has got a few issues, hasn't he, in the team there. So I'm not sure what his problem is, but Quattrara was flying today. He was absolutely, totally in control. The Yamaha R is really good around the Aston circuit. So coming around for lap three. Four seconds in front, nearly. Short shift up the box to stop the wheelie. Half a second up on a personal best so far. <laughs> I can't get it stopped for some reason. I've just come out of the warm up, literally come out of the warm up. I've been doing lap after lap after lap. 130s. 130s, guys. And the bike seems all over the place now. So it's only going to be a short episode this time, Ryan. Guys, I've got my, got my family up from a place in England, right down south, called Cornwall. It's about 300 miles from where I live. It's a, a coastal town. People go there on holiday in the UK. If you're not from the UK then you probably need to know that. If you are from the UK, then you probably already know that. But yeah, he's come up from Cornwall. We picked him up at a Yamaha, a Tracer 700. And we're going out on the bikes later this week. But I needed to get this episode out of the way for Friday's release. We'll have to see what happens next week, guys. He's, he's here all week, so I'm not sure if I'm going to get the time to do another one for next week but we shall endeavour to do so but we're going to be out on the bikes I'll be out on my VFR 800 he's going to be out on the Tracer 700 the Yamaha Tracer 700 I think we're going to be heading off up into the Peak District for a day, a day's riding so looking forward to that Halfway through the race now, lap six, and we've got it in the bag again. We're going to have to up it another five percent, but to one hundred and ten percent for next time round. Ooh, high side, gonna Marquez. Did you see that high side of Marquez's this week? And if you're not seeing it, guys go and find it on YouTube or something or go on the GP site actually you, you can actually see it on the GP site massive eyesight and it was something to do with his electronics they hadn't kicked in early enough to save the slide and when it gripped it just threw him out the saddle oh, it was an epic eyesight he actually come away unscathed which is quite remarkable to say the distance it flew through the air but yeah the Honda was having a few issues wasn't it this weekend with electronics but they seem to have fixed it in the race it come ninth didn't he in the race I think something like that it did all right it did all right I think my tyres are about shot as well at least they're wearing evenly but this is our fastest lap so far Trying to stop it spinning up. Oh, we lost time there. That was going to be my fastest lap, but I don't think we've done it. Lost loads of time on that last cut. I know, we have done it. This is going to be our fastest lap. A 131.7. <laughs> Try to keep that one up. 
two laps to go, guys. And again, we've run off with this. I don't understand it. Honestly, do not understand the AI difficulty on this game. I'm not this good. Oh, stuff that corner up again. to get a straight track so I could pull a long wheelie. Go on, lean. Why don't it lean when you pull a wheelie? I could have wheelied all the way down this hill. So what we'll do, we're going to up it another 5% next time round. But also we really need to start to think about our next championship and I'm thinking 800s or the 990cc let me know in the comments which class you'd like to see guys but that's what I'm thinking using the limited edition bikes that's where we're going next so that means Lorenzo I think we've got Lorenzo, Rossi um, can't remember who the limited edition bikes were but we've got a, a few to choose from five to choose from of the limited edition bikes so we can select one of those bikes in the 800 or the 990cc class and we'll just let loose in another championship we'll choose our tracks appropriately oh that was a good wheelie so if you've got a favourite track let me know in the comments as well and we'll add that to our nine rounds of the championship. So it's coming soon. We've got a couple more rounds of this. I think we're at Sepang next or something like I'm sure it's Sepang. And then I think we finish off at Phillip Island. Oh, got that wrong. So only two more rounds to go in this tournament, but in our next championship we should be starting off, it should be a lot more competitive because we'll be starting off at whatever percentage that we leave it from here, so we should start off on a, on a good footing instead of working out where we should be. This is our first championship of the game, so we've just been trying to find our feet a little bit. There we go, over the line. Let's see if we can have a wheelie. No. Oh, God, what's he doing? While we wait for the cameras to take us to Park Ferme to meet the podium finishers, let's take a quick look at the final standings. So, final results then. Uh, we did get the fastest lap as well, 131.7. I just don't understand why the other guys are doing 134s. That's the slowest times they've done through all three practice sessions through qualifying, through the warm-up sessions. Why on earth they're going that slow? I have no idea, it, it don't make sense. But regardless, we did come first. Uh, Arbe come second, Kaczynski come third, McWilliam fourth and Valentino Rossi come fifth. And the rest is history. Wayne Rainey right at the back again for his championship contention year. He seems to be finishing at the back all the time. So to be nice to see Milestone actually put that right and make him contend for the championship with Kevin Schwantz. That would be nice. So Riders Championship then, so 175 points for us now. We've got our 25 points in the bag there. McCoy in second place, no change from McCoy, but John Kaczynski has moved up two places now of 81 points. 94 points behind us though. So that's your top three guys. So we've definitely won this championship, easily I would say. But let's head off to the podium and go and collect our trophy. This victory is the cherry on top of an exhausting weekend. And if his team keeps working like this, it will be really difficult for his opponents to overtake him. 
So this is going to be it for this time round, guys. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. We will be going for all of the historical riders, all of the historical championships as well for all of the classes. So this is the historical channel, you could say, for this season of MotoGP 21. So if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel, guys. Please give this a like and a thumbs up. And I shall see you next time round at the Malaysia circuit, at the Sepang International Circuit for our next race. See you later guys. Look after yourselves. Bye bye.